Hello everyone, so today we will talk a little bit about the tree, Christmas tree. So, let's move on and try to create interior for our tree or for our uh, snowball. So, let's get started. I will create a um, yes, cylinder, go to the properties, and uh, what we can do, we can try to subdivisions and I want to make probably eight, eight divisions once you have that cross aligning to a grid yeah so basically most all of them to be equals however it's up to you okay so we have that top one and for a second one I will try to well, probably awesome. Duplicate again, and the last one probably 16 will be more than enough. Okay, so what we can do next, let's check this out. So, in order to make a tree, oh, maybe one more thing, I will, I will duplicate this one, and for a branch, for a branch boot or I don't know for uh, for the bottom part leave it to eight again maybe it both right okay yeah. eight probably will be good enough okay and we need to shrink it a bit okay so let's select the faces Go to the modeling toolkit and press connect. Awesome. Middle mouse click, we can increase our segments. And uh, probably I will play a little bit with the shape, so I will scale it up in some areas. Wonderful. So, and move it to the side, break the symmetry in this scenario. Maybe we need to add additional um, subdivision. Oh well, let's let's play. Let's play a bit, and uh, we will use the smooth, so basically the number three on our keyboard. And as always, I forgot to enable it. Uh, I mean, enable the software which showing the keys which I am pressing during the tutorial and as I remember you asked me to show them so I hope you not missed a lot of information great so let's press free and uh, yeah so I will play a bit of the bottom part Something like that. Okay, and uh, select the tool and probably we'll add additional loop here in order to have some kind of support line to, to let's say, to have ability to support some of the lines in order to support the shape yeah okay and you have a little bit crisper edge on that bottom awesome so just center the pivot here the history this information and move it to the side so the bottom part will be which has most of the divisions i mean g on the sides and the top will be this one with the less division and this is a middle part great so what i will do i will snap to the center i will take the second one snap to the center again and uh just wrinkle a bit above okay 
uh, same thing for the top one. Awesome. So now we need to manage the size. Great. I will select the top part. Do some kind of scaling in that direction and scaling from the bottom. Just like that. I will do the same task for all of these parts. Okay. Basically, something like that. Definitely, we can introduce different tools which can do the same thing, but it's, uh, I believe it will be easier like that. So, what we need to do, uh, probably we'll select uh, this pin. Oop. Something like that. Great. Okay, okay. We need in here a loop. Yes. Let's select our cutting tool and do a loop. Great. So select this sidelines and double click so that we select a loop in that direction and press Ctrl B to double. Awesome. So what I will do next, I will select all of them and definitely merge to center. Great, so what we'll do next, I will select them all, press G to repeat the command, press G, press G, oops, press G. Awesome, and job completed. Great, I will do the same thing for all of them. And uh, yeah, so for a bottom part, we don't need a bottom part in this situation, and we don't need this area so I with uh, control and shift we can select them as you can see and after it and delete it just like that awesome so what we will do next we will try to select everything and extrude in this case probably I will extrude inverse awesome minus three minus point three I mean okay and as we was extruded inside and go and reverse the normal awesome so what do you think about that looking pretty awesome great so we need to break the symmetry and uh, yeah basically we can drag with it that one here that one here maybe this one here that one A little bit down to the side. Awesome. I know that it's looking terrible right now, but uh, you know, we will fix it. No worries. Definitely, if I won't manage it, I will say, hey, you know, this is my main idea. I know what the art means. Oh, -ho! so we have something like that. Pretty awesome. So let's let's try to do the same things on the on the different uh, parts. I mean, so we need to do that cut. We need to select the lines, Control B, not double, and uh, yes. So what I will do, I will try to. Do. Enter them, I mean, uh, merge vertices. It's a annoying job, yeah. But oh well. I really think that there is some kind of probably script or something like that to do such stuff, but uh, I don't have. <laughs> okay, so let's select this part which we don't need okay just delete it select extrude it okay so then there's well we can go outside of that one okay point three as a previous one then yep go and move probably a bit to the top Something like that, just to break some symmetry things, you know. Not so drastic, but 
but just a bit, you know. It's a Christmas tree. Again, probably we'll add additional loops. I mean, uh, oh, we can oh, isolate it. We'll probably delete these inner parts because they will probably penetrate if I Jesus Christ, uh, they will penetrate if I will uh, select you know and create in here. Uh, Some of the lines in order to move or uh, do some shaping thing, and uh, yeah, and this is the reason why I've deleted inner side. Okay, something like that, something like that. Awesome. Okay, let's select this part. Again, maybe it's too much free lines, but uh, oh well. Okay, well, yeah. well then enough. Okay, we will be working on that one. I mean, uh, we'll play a little bit with that. I want to have, uh, let's say, this corner is bit move to the top. And basically, we can do that at the beginning. But uh, yeah, it's my fail. I didn't thought about that. So, you know, when you're stupid, we need to work it a little bit longer. So, oh well, it happens. Just do it, no complaints. Hmm. Right, so probably I will do the same thing for a uh, top part. Okay, so we need to increase. Um, This part too. I'll just do something like that. Let's play a bit that part. Let's move to the bot part. Boom! Okay, I'll make that a bit bigger. Something like that. Great, and we will play later on the shape, but I can see that it's looking terrible. However, oh. Damn. Awesome. So, once again, the same thing. Got the edge in here. Select. Edge. Make a loop. Control B for, uh, you know, better now than me, for uh, merging uh, vertices. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, okay, okay. We don't have a bottom part, but now we will select this part. Oh, 
Awesome. Hold you. Oh, extrude it. Inside, outside, probably outside. Four. Oh, it's not a problem. Okay. Shrink it down a bit. Mm -hmm. okay, so I will select the bottom part. And uh, in this scenario, I probably will try to bring it up. I mean, stop just a bit. Something like this. Let's check this out. And, uh, you know, can be worse. <laughs> okay, so once again, we can play a little bit of a symmetry. Need to break it because it really doesn't look very nice in such scenarios, isn't it? Okay. A bit something like that. Okay. Okay. So, what do we have? Something like that. Let's print a little bit more to the top. Let's see. Put that branch. Something like that. We'll go to a side view. Wonderful. Something like that will be fine. Don't you think? Okay, so we have a tree, Christmas tree. We need to make uh, more of them. Let's say, second, not this book. Okay, so basically we have a uh, one Christmas tree. I will include it for now. Okay, GRP. Is okay. Christmas tree. Okay. So what we can introduce in this in this video, we can let's like, copy and do the second piece and reshape it. So under modeling, we will go to deform. And the light. We can press Ctrl Shift and left click in order to add to our say menu. And uh, let's press while we was selected uh, the Christmas tree. And we can play with the divisions as you can see. This is will be a points with which we can control this. Selected parts as a cluster. So we'll right click and go to the lattice points and uh, check this out. We will try to rotate it, for example, and we cannot see anything right at this moment. Only the tip is selected. As you can see right now, I'm breaking the symmetry and uh, rotate a bit. Isn't that nice? Okay, like that. Something like that. 
And as you can see right now, it's uh, looking like a different tree right away in a few seconds. Maybe not so. Expanding. Okay. Maybe this part two. This part two. Something like that. Wonderful. Okay, so let's clear the history. Oops. Select it and clear the history. And we will get rid of this lattice point. So we have a second one. I mean, uh, second three. Awesome. We will select you know, the main tree again. And let's play one more time. By the way, if you will. This subdivision, don't forget, and play with U and S subdivisions as well. You will have plenty of choices how to select and modify your object, let's say. So that was a some kind of heavy penetration in there. Something like that. Okay. Let's do something like that. As you can see right now, we have uh, three different trees, and you can play like that as much as you want. We are very history. So, this Christmas tree was. This Christmas tree will be added to the our snowball. Definitely, we need to have one bigger one. I mean, a second. Oh, let's make another group for that one and unpair it from the first one. Okay, so I'm going to name it the Christmas tree three. Awesome. Here everything for each Christmas tree. Okay, so I'll please select and uh, the last one could be let's snap it to the vertex point and that vertex point will select the world obviously and select to the center of the grid. And we can make it even bigger, maybe thinner or not. That one probably will be the main, main tree. Whoops, no, why it looks like I've duplicated the branch or a foot. Okay, don't think like that. Pretty awesome, and maybe that. We should be more like that. No? Yes. Okay, so we have these trees. Now we need to do presents, probably house and more stuff. So stay tuned and see ya.